Hey guys, back again. This is for part two of doing the ephemera. Um, finishing this. Now these are bits and pieces that I've left um, from all the pages that I've got in the books. So I thought I'm going to use it all because I had to cut them down and I've got all these little leftover bits. So I'm going to use some of them. I've got this one. This one is actually from my friend. Um, but this is what I've got at the moment. I think it's the last piece of um, gnome thing that I've I think got one more. Um, so I'm going to put that in her one, but I'm going to be making um, these for the all the others as well. So what I'm going to do... Um, so what we're going to do here is I've got I've got this and I'm gonna I'm gonna sew around that just to hold that down so this she's got a journaling card there isn't it gorgeous look at just gonna leave that there then I'm going to get some of these now how did I do this did I put this underneath I did there's a okay what I'm gonna do Okay, so I like to have it a little bit above it. There we go. Probably use this other side for one of the other ones because you don't need much you just got to be careful not to, to cut and now all the pit all the um papers that i had they've all got really good sayings on on the edges of them no beauty shines brighter than a good heart um what else has got on there it's not what we have in life but who we have in our life that matters uh, when you love you have everything you need um, you know a few of them but I'm going to have this one every picture tells a story because I just thought it just lends itself out to that there's a story behind this picture so now what I'm going to do here is just ed edge this some of the other pictures all depends what picture it is I want this to be look like um, like you were looking in a window and that's outside of a house and that's a bit the garden bed, which is pretty much what it is, I think. And this one is going to go so that one goes on top, that goes underneath. And then that one goes on top. Actually, it might go underneath. Yeah, I think so. So, glue this. It's not going to be a real long video, this one. It is part two. Try not to get on the window, hard not to. There we go. Since this one's going on top, I might do that one on top as well. This looks better. Okay. Now, I'll do it this 
way. And you want to make sure that you don't cut the paper on this one. Okay. Now there's a bit more space on here. And I might cut that. Sorry, a bit quiet. A bit like that when you're concentrating. Oop. Now, try and clean up as I go. So, this one. And the story behind that picture is the little gnome in that picture is actually talking to the, the artist and the author because um, the artwork is by that um, the Dutch artist but there's also an author that's um, writing all the information down about the gnome and that's what he's talking to, talking to them. It's really cute. Now, so what I'm going to do now. I do want to go on the machine and sew it, but I have to be really careful because I don't want to sew that down. So what we need to do now too is go all the way around it and to the edges. This little guy back in. <sighs> How cute is that? I was actually wanting to um to stick some some nice paper in there. Maybe one of these. It's a poemy one. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I've got this from the Kazar Craft, which is from the Enchanted. And it's got these little mushrooms. And I've just cut them into three. I cut them apart. And I was actually thinking of putting some mushrooms along here. Maybe I'll put the tall one. I think that would look cute. So, here is. to get a permanent one I'll be back in a tick
as much okay and do that the little baby one next to it and then put the red on the top go then have this one and then put a bit of red on top of that Cleaning camera guys, it should be. Got a nice saying on that as well, actually. Um, I'm wondering if I could probably do the big one, just sort of hanging right on the top there. Yeah, why not? Should have done that one first. Now, and this one has actually got a nice saying, what's that one is, life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. I might um, stamp that one on some of the, some of the other things as well. Uh, there we go. So, I really love this. That's from the Kazar Craft Enchanted um, set. You probably almost even put that on there too, you know, in the background. Should have done that one first. Think of that in the. That'd be cute. But when you stamp it, it goes that way. Hmm. Why not? Ugh. A bit of a bugger. You can tell I haven't taken it off yet. Yoked. 
Now I think that one needs a little bit of yellow on the top. Or well, I might just leave it in the brown actually to be honest. So there you go. How cute is that? A little bit of stamps. Now I'm going to um, stitch. But before I do that, I think I do need to put something on there. the printiness of that no it is pretty cool um, yeah. Yeah, that's nice too yeah that's gonna go there okay unlike the other one this is going to be like a, a tip in so you will actually see on the back of this okay. be careful not to glue it shut put the lid on the ink glue And then when I get my gnome pictures, I might even stick another gnome on the other side. Should be nice. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to sew along the end and I'll sew on that line too. So um, that, um, yeah. So it's not closing it shut, but it's sewing all four edges. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, that's not. Okay, well, back again. I think that looks pretty good. Actually, where is my scissors? I can see little bits and pieces that I can see from here that are sticking out. You're going to see, we managed to sew it, but didn't sew it in. So, put this little guy in here like that, and I sewed around that as well. Put him in, tuck him in there like that. So cute. I really like, um, I really like that actually. Can you see that? I hope it's not too close. Really like that. And I'm adding a little bit of the, so this is from in, uh, Kazo Craft Enchanted, clear stamps, yeah, there we go, they're pretty cool. Okay, well that's um, part two and then this will go into, just say this is the journal, probably going to glue that in, that's the page, glue that into the page and then that'll chip out and then I'll probably put something in there as well i love that i love how it's turned out it's so cute no worries well i've got to get back to finishing all of these and then i've got to make quite a few more of these so i might get the actual borders and everything ready and then wait for that and then i've got my pages which i've now are ready and i'll probably do um some stenciling and some stamping and all that on the actual pages too to to um to make it look really nice too okay guys thank you very much and i'll catch you uh in the next one bye oh i've got something else to share um my husband recently got a job in um the salvation army op shop as a manager so i'm gonna have um uh, first dibs at all the store doilies and any good books that come in so i'm pretty excited about that he starts in october so um yeah he's just he was a long long time coming but um yeah i'm pretty excited about that i just thought i'd share because um getting stuff in the up it's really awesome it's where i get a lot of my bargains okay guys once again i'll catch you later bye